Mm -mm. I do not know about you, but I have been always curious to find out what is inside of different products. So after reviewing the Top Dawn JS1500 a few days ago, I have decided to take it apart to see exactly what is inside. You are more than welcome to join along and find out with me what we have inside. We have our selection of tools of torture. Very strange, is a Torx in between a T10 and a T7. I will improvise with a T7. Do we have additional bolts? Nope, doesn't feel like it. So if I would be someone that has assembled this, how would I have assembled it? We don't see any cut over here. So by the looks of it, it is joined in the middle. I'm expecting it to have some clips, some strange things holding it. Whoa. We continue the process bit by bit. If you want to do something similar, make sure that you are working in a warm environment because plastic at low temperatures can become very brittle. Mm -mm. Did we break anything? By the looks of it, no. All of our tabs on the sides are okay. Okay, let's assess what we have in front of us. We have the massive battery pack, we have the electronics and what can we say about this? Here you go it over here. Let's go one more step. We remove these bolts. As an observation, this unit doesn't seem to have any waterproofing, doesn't seem to be a unit that is waterproof. Now realistically, because it has the USB ports quite open. I wouldn't say that it is something that wants to be waterproof. What can we see on the PCB? This is the name 202308. Maybe that is the production date or when the design has been done. Soldering seems decent. The size of the wiring and the connection points are quite beefy. From an assembly point of view, I would say this cover went last. After that, we had this little bit. We will disconnect the LED. This assembly goes out. Next, I would expect that this is a temperature sensor for the battery. This is a communication port, if we take a look at it. This is a communication port with this unit to allow that boost function to take place. If we look at the cables, they are really, really beefy. Double-sided sticky tape. Okay, what do we know now? The LED goes here. The LED lens, the LED and the LED lens go like this. They go in and after that we have this massive assembly. I would expect them to either have that one already soldered or this is pushed in when they are assembling the stuff. This connector will be feeding power to the USB things and also this will be the thing that is charging this assembly. If we look over here we can see some of the plates maybe something like bus bars from the battery itself. Can we go one step further? Oh yeah! Well at this point in time we can see something saying that it's a 14.8 volt battery maybe. But this begs the question of if this is the voltage maybe the specs that we have might not be very accurate. We will never know. More measurements and more testing needs to take place. 